the reason why we've commissioned um, JCU to undertake this work, they have developed a series of um, programs and projects surrounding all of the iconic species and habitats in this area and they recognised that doing a project like this uh, was an important one. We've come to Gladstone because uh, we've been given the opportunity with this uh, grant from the Gladstone Ports Corporation to conduct an environmental uh, monitoring assessment uh, of the uh, mangroves and tidal wetlands uh, across the uh, Port Curtis area, extending south to Rods Bay and up to the Fitzroy River mouth. Particularly large area, but it's just jam-packed with probably about 40 thousand hectares of mangroves and, and uh, salt marsh. The questions that our program is going to be addressing uh, are the impacts of that industry and whether the natural ecosystems can coexist uh, with the, these industries and their expansion. To conduct this program we're, we've broken it up into five different components which uh, we've put together as what we call the CHAMP, the, the Coastal Habitat archive monitoring program. Those five components start with mapping with, from satellite imagery and, uh, and aerial photographs. Uh, with those we get the historical perspective of change from the 1940s up to the present day. The next stages of the program all start to address uh, those, that broad scale view that we've got uh, from the whole area and to validate uh, what we see in that uh, remote sensing. And those components start with aerial surveys using helicopters where we uh, fly along the shorelines. As, uh, as you can see, uh, quite a perspective from helicopter view that you don't get uh, in a boat or from a satellite. The next part uh, that we incorporate is the uh, filming of um, the shoreline edges from boats using video. We call that the shoreline video assessment method. Quantifying it in its locations of where the dieback is, uh, how much, uh, what species uh, are affected, all those things you can get from the boat uh, shoreline video assessment method. The last component uh, is about, uh, I suppose, presenting and displaying the data that's collected. We're building towards uh, some uh, innovative technologies that allow us to uh, present an environment we call street view for coastlines but shore view um, and with that we'll be able to upload the data that or the imagery that we collect as well as the the assessment data um, to be visible and available publicly uh, for anyone who wants to go and have a look the champ program you know, it's five components. I've, I've been working on uh, the different components over many years, many decades. I think there's a really good chance that, that we can properly monitor the changes that are going on and be able to apply this method uh, and partnership idea uh, in other ports around the country. And it's, it's all about now pulling them together, those components, so that we are, and I believe we are, approaching what I would call world best practice.